Oh my gosh, I've got something really awesome to share with you today on today's podcast, videocast. And this is going to be for you if you have any idea or desire to run your own retreat or maybe to create an online program or even an offline program. How to create that clarity and set it up as a plan, knowing your strong why and how to move forward with that. So stay tuned. This is a really incredible experience. I'm going to welcome you to Kathy. Hey there, Katie Joy here with this incredible opportunity to share with you the beautiful Kathy Hector and how we have just totally taken her amazing offer for what her retreats and her programs are ready to explode forth and provide amazing transformations with her world. But I wanted to take you through a process of essentially, um, you know, the importance of going seven levels deep. Uh, which is a beautiful term created by Dean Graziosi. And also I relate it back to Simon Sinek for the start with why and really learning, like, how do you unpack that? So C Kathy, I am so excited to have you on the call, especially because literally we just did a group training in the Love Light yeah. Academy and you, um, it was very valuable for you and the other ladies. Everyone got lit up and I thought, I'm going to share this with the world right? Because <laughs> there's other people that are going to really love the opportunity of how do I get more clarity about how do I turn my goal into actionable sort of steps. So um, welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Again. Why yeah. don't, you know, let's start with this. Where are you based in the world right now? Um, I'm in Spain right now, in southern Spain. Beautiful. And um, I'm currently in Perth, Western Australia. So we're in different parts of the world. It's just eight in the morning. You've been up for several hours. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Awesome. And you look amazing. You look amazing. Thank you. So, um, listen, you know, you run incredible. You're not from Spain, are you? No, no, no. I'm English. I'm so English. Tell, tell us why you moved to Spain. Um, for the, the sun, but also for a different way of life, the different values here, more family values, uh, more family orientated, um, less restriction, more common sense, I think. Love it. And needing to get out of, I wasn't on my path. I wasn't following what I was supposed to do. And I didn't know what it was, but I knew I needed to get away from that, to see the wood for the trees. Yeah, definitely. And I came here and I found that I could see the wood for the trees and it was a shock. And it was not what I expected. But then again, not everything always is, you know, when you start your journey. So there you go. There you go. And you also run annual retreats there in Spain? Yep. Yep. Oh, so exciting. And um, yeah, we can hear the plane go over. That's cool. That's called life. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you run these awesome retreats. And I know that recently uh, you, well, you've been working with me for a while on and off do you want to just quickly sort of state how did you come to meet me in my work and then come join the love light leadership academy just to give a bit of a pre-frame there before okay. i then launch into uh, unpacking what we did with your offer today i came across you online i think it's because we had a mutual friend that was um, a trainer a, a program that i was doing uh, i was part of a long long time ago and um and I think that's why, and something about, you were traveling then, you were traveling around, um, and I was like, how does she do that? <laughs> I want to know how she does that. And that was in the days when blogging was relatively new, and blogging on the on the move, on the run, I was going to say, on the move was relatively new. Lifestyle, and, uh, uh, laptop lifestyles. Boring. Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I like the name, and the whole, the global butterfly, and the joy, Katie Joy, and I was like, something there and I kind of followed you and you you were there on the periphery and then as time went on it drifted off and I drifted off and I think I moved somewhere and then we were in a in this a training group a few years ago we we're in the same group and your name popped up and you just put together your program and I forget which one it was at the time it didn't matter what it was at the time and you came on and you'd followed the train and you were like oh my god I've been up for like a week and I've just put done all this work and it was like three days or something and I put all this work together and I've just put it together and all these women are joining my program and it's amazing da, 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 da. And I was like oh wicked and I think then we connected and then you ran a, a free challenge I think initially was what I did um, and then it went from there and then I chose to work with you on your other programs so yeah awesome awesome so that led you to this point now and recently yeah. um 
yeah, I've created a lot of programs and they all vary and there's free, 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 free. And then there's, they step up until the Love Light Leadership um, Academy is a 12 month mastermind group. And in that I'm really helping you to create uh, energy, master, harnessing your energy and mastering your energy and self-awareness, really getting activated in your soul, goal, clarity and um, goal plan unpack, which is the component we did today. And then also really going into the energetics, the psychic, um, the energy psychology, as well as the energetics in your body and brain um, to apply that to marketing and business as well. And so I bring this whole system together with a whole bunch of amazing training and masterminding. And today we hot seat you, hot seated you, mm -hmm. unpacking your goal for, initially it was to fill your retreat, but we twisted it, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. Got to the heart of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, at the time of doing this recording, you have another retreat coming up in three weeks. And we said, well, this is a 90 day goal, you know. And so we started with, before we went through a 90 day goal plan unpack with you, I kind of brought in the, the essence of doing a little bit of the energy psychology behind it as well, um, which went real down the rabbit hole for today, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, the, um, but it's essentially, before you even begin with a goal, regardless whether it's a a personal or a business goal, you want to start with what is my offer and my promise? You know, why am I doing this? What, what is my reason why in business for my ideal customer, my client? And also like maybe what is my why as well? So you've got, you know, the momentum. Who is your ideal customer? Or who are you doing the goal for? And then the, um, uh, the uh, how. So then we unpack the goal with the 90 day goal plan. Now it's really important to know why you're doing something, especially with any goal. And I want to preframe this. And it was a discovery that I, I know you all went pop <laughs> is because when you go down the seven levels deep of the why, especially if you're aware of why you're doing something, you can end up with clarity of, well, gosh, am I doing this from a heart activated soul aligned place of being where I'm really bringing value into the world, which is obviously having an impact on myself and others, or, oh, gosh, I've just discovered I'm doing this because I'm still trying to gain the approval of dad or mum. Mm. Yeah, you know? And mm -hmm. so when we re if, we re if we go down that way, neither is bad, right or wrong. It's just that when you have the awareness of what's driving you from an internal place of being, then you can go, oh, okay, if that is still seeking for the approval for somebody else, it's never going to work out well. You might achieve it, but it will be one of those oh, flags at the top of the mountain, but oh, is this all there is? You know what I mean? It's not soul satisfying. And it's because it's done for an external validation. But when you have a why that's really deep and really connected to your core values, but also really providing amazing value to the world, all of a sudden, activation happens, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm going to close my window. So, <laughs> I just cut a little bit edit there because it was just like you stopped and started. But that's all cool. So um, do you want to just share a little bit of you know, what was that shift? Because there was an immediate shift for you when we went through that process as well. Yeah. Um, and to be able to go through that unpack before you even go to unpacking the, act, the actions, it became really, really easy then to unpack the rest of the actions and know where to place those for moving forward. Plus we crafted your uh, offer a whole lot different, but we'll get to that bit in a minute. Yeah, definitely. Um, so it was, instead of, when you look at a goal, we try and look for who our client is and who, what we want to achieve and what we want to do for them and all this kind of thing. But what we did today was we, took it apart and Katie asked, okay, so why are you doing this? And you answer, no, why are you doing it? Not, she didn't say no, but then why are you doing this? And she keep answer, kept asking the same question over and over again. Um, and I love that because it gets rid of the chaff, if you like, that's on the surface, which is the stuff that we always answer. Yeah, I'm doing this because I'm doing this because, which is po possibly a valid reason, but it's the surface reason. And so, and we, as it happened, it went down seven steps. And she did actually say seven steps, but it just so happened that it, when we counted them up, it was seven steps. So we went down and we got seven different reasons why. And each one, I suppose, became more passionate and more heartfelt as we got down. And it, all of them turned out to be about the client, not about me. Every single answer that came out was, and it's not because 
I need to make money to pay my bills. I need to, you know, um, honor the people there and blah, 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 blah. It was all about the client. It, and it, it was great. It was brilliant. And you lit up and became more and more radiant as, as you're going through that whole process. Here's the other cool, cool thing. Because we had to focus on the why for the client as well, what happened as soon as we had it all written down? Did we have your immediate marketing copy? Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> it was, it, that's even joked with Katie and I said, can we just like lift that and you can be our marketing video, you know? <laughs> but all that copy was perfect because I've, I've had a gap. I admit I've had a gap. This retreat has taken six months of what well, a year, but six months of final planning to do this because we only do these once a year. They're very, very special events. And each one is completely different. Yep. Well, say completely different to the one before. Yes. So it's like it's a kind of the opportunities there, grab it because if you if you feel it, do it. So what I've where are we were aiming for and all the planning, I mean there's so much planning involved, but it's that message between what i know inside you know like you're supposed to have your elevator pitch or whatever you want to call it people say so what's your retreat about i know it in my head and then i'm like bruh, bruh. i don't i've not been able to really get it out and i have got copy online I'm, I'm on linkedin i'm on instagram i'm on facebook i'm on the places and i've got my copy out believe me i've rewritten that so many times i've rewritten my headline so many times and I've got past that it was wrong before. It isn't. It was just right at that moment, right at the next moment. But hours, I'm talking days and days and days. I mean, I'm sure someone who's listening to this has written, has taken an entire day to write a post and nobody looks at it. And then you go and blah, spontaneously do one off the cuff and everybody likes, comments and shares it and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of my copy has been stuff that's taken me days to write. But this happened in what? Minutes? Uh, it took, it took us a total us. about uh, just over an hour. But that was only because as a group training, I was unpacking and explaining. Yeah. Because of all the other stuff going on. Yeah. Just that that one thread of the seven. Um, oh, that only took seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. That it was, it was brilliant. And I know I can literally lift that and, and obviously change the tone. Um, and, and the, but that there's the copy and th that's what I was trying to say. That's the gap between this person sitting at home who, or sitting in their workplace, whatever, I would try to have lost for words. I was going to say craving, but yeah, maybe craving for this, something answer to their pain and i have the answer but the gap between was the bit that i've been struggling with and so i go on this this goal unpack hot seat session with katie expecting to do a 90 day plan and break down my my the practical uh, the practical <laughs> action yeah. steps down to that. each day in you 90 days that. and now that is actually the easy part i suppose because we didn't we we went a step um, before that, almost like backtracked, went a step before that, went deeper down that, and and so that time spent during that planning is going to make the um, actual day to day action steps a lot easier. Because honestly, before we did the call, I was like, if it was a um, a particular, I don't know, let's say a, um, a fitness goal, you could break it down to x amount of meals and drinks and and exercises and and stretches and this every single day. But this was like, I didn't fully know what I was trying to do. So it was hard to even break it down onto a daily action steps, which is why I'd left that part of my work that Katie set on the training program we're on. I've left that blank because I hadn't been able to do it. Um, she didn't know that. <laughs> well, she, deals, she knows stuff. <laughs> uh, I know stuff. <laughs> How useful was it for you to have the support and the guidance to have someone outside of your head who oh, by myself who was like, tune into this but helping you i'm not i didn't tell you i helped you tune into your frequency yeah i gave the answers yeah you did yeah she she just take typed all the credit girl because you did it <laughs> right you did it i just all i did was shine the light on you to help you dial the channel in to tune into the frequency mm. of you and your ideal client which is something I've been wanting to do for so long. And I'd, I say wanting is a weak way of putting it. I've really, really desired to do this for such a long time. 
um, so, is to run business this way. Because a lot of people will be resonating with what you just said there, right? Yeah. Now that you've been through it, reflecting back, what was holding you back before from doing it? I think the conditioning of the traditional ways of business and marketing. Mm -hmm. I'm aware that marketing is changing. Being aware and actually doing something about it is, is two different things. Um, before it all changed, I didn't want to be necessarily plastering my whole life and my whole being all over social media. Back in the day, I wanted to, I believed, I honestly believed that I could do my marketing from using my gut reactions. I believe that I could attract my clients in a previous business followed by gut reactions. I mentioned this to a few people, should have been more careful, and I got shot down every single time. Things have changed, but because I think I've wanted this, I've been attracted to Katie and her work, hence the fact we've come together. Somebody that gets me, for sure, And but now more people are coming around to this way of thinking, yeah. and with, there's so much noise on online there is so much noise and i'm finding that people are not like this is my own opinion i don't know what the stats are or whatever i think it's an overall experience for a lot of people yeah a shift people are switching way. off from being bombarded and interrupted with messages from yeah. companies over and over to the point where they're so loud they become silent because you don't even hear them anymore it's time but to then some really go deep with those relationships again and, and not be just yeah. a number. And uh, that's what's really important, building those relationships and really providing authentic yeah. value and being, an what I say, your authentic expression of love and light. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that you can bring that creative, uh, intuitive, you call it gut, same thing, intuitive yeah. stepping forward. Like as much as I create a, a plan regularly and I'm showing you all how to create a plan, it's like having the skeleton of your human form. You need it as a framework, but you also need it for mobility. Without a, And then you have your muscles and your tendons that give you the range of motion. If, you, if you're all skeleton and you don't have much muscle or, or you have a limited range of motion, you're stiff and rigid, but without a framework, you're also immobile a pile of goop on the floor a puddle you can't move and so you need a framework for leverage to move forward but you also need to be adaptable and intuitive to operate within that framework hmm. the key is tune into the frequency of the highest energy of you what your intention is and who you're calling in to meet on that frequency that you can serve and provide um help them solve their problems with what i call a solution yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's really fun. And watching you go through that whole process, and I know the other ladies, they were like, "Oh my god, that was amazing! It really impacted me, and it was available, like it it was applicable to them, even though we were unpacking yours." Let's speak a little bit because uh, I want to talk about the retreat in a minute, bit in a moment, and there might be somebody listening who goes, "I want to hear more, and I want to share this opportunity with them, and help you um, also make that connection energetically with." perhaps someone who's watching or listening. So um, one of the things though, is that even though your retreat is in three weeks time, we had a 90 day goal plan. So mm. we looked at what you're doing and what your promise is and what the transformation is. We looked at then um, what, uh, why, I mean, seven levels deep, who your ideal client on an energetic mm -hmm. frequency as well as the highest version of your client. Again, with goals, a lot of people, say they want this, but then they focus energetically on what they fear. Mm. Oh my God, but what if I have really shitty clients? Don't imagine that. <laughs> Don't even set that frequency. No. <laughs> I wasn't planning on swearing. I just dropped an S bomb. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it used to it, folks. If you work with me, I'd kind of drop a few. <laughs> um, and, and then with the, the how you go through all that. I just forgot where I was going with that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You were about to tell us where you were going to go. And then we we're going to talk about the retreat later. But before oh, you do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what Sorry. it was. <laughs> I've been talking for a few hours today. Um, so the, um, we, we planned, we shift. I said to you, <coughs> well, what if you could really take this transformation level further with people 
uh, with what you're creating. What if you could provide a six week online group training um, coaching program that you know, you're basically lifting out the, the experience from the live retreat and you're giving people their transformation online. Could you do that? And you said, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, let's make, you know, given that what you do and how you help people, do you want to just state how you, what you do, what the whole transformation process is? Um, yeah, the, on the retreat? Yes. Oh, uh, well, well, it's the well, same it's, either, oh, either. Yes. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's the same experience. It's, it's it's if you are you've got something a, a, an idea a something that, or it might you just know that you there's more than this to you, know you. more than this yes basically Beautiful. maybe something's triggered that it could be some kind of loss or big transformational moment in life yes um yes. a change something that's happened that's made you think what the am i doing you know you may have already had a dream years ago when you were younger and you got caught up into a system, a job, a marriage, whatever. You got caught up in the normal stuff that everybody does. It's not your fault. It's just the way it is. Um, but you've suddenly now remembered, what about that thing, you know? But you don't have the time or the space to do it where you are now. And to figure, you, you just need some time to figure it out. And if you mention this to your friends and family, possibility you're going to be judged possibility that they are not want not going to want you to change they're going to want you to stay as they as you are for their benefit and half, most of the time they don't even know that they're doing this so but you need it almost like an escape so you need somewhere to escape to just to figure it out now what we have on our end is we've got we provide the support for you and the environment to help you to do that with all of our you know, methods that we've got going on and food and um, therapies and, and, and trainers and all that, that kind of thing. Because you have a lot of trainers that come on site to help yeah. with this. And like, yeah. um, just a little bit about what they can expect at a retreat and like talk as far as like the transformation, but also some of the features, the experience, what, what are they going to yeah. experience on a, on an example of a, of a day or a few days on the retreat? It's, it's eight days, isn't it? Yeah, it's eight days. You arrive day one, leave on day eight, but when we said we've got six very full clean days to work. Um, and the whole experience is all about you. So how often do you, does anybody, especially women, men as well, but especially women get a chance to have the focus all on you guilt-free. Exactly. Now, one of the key things is you, you mentioned to me that they're usually ambitious women in their forties yeah. in a transition. So the typically given away a lot of the energy, their attention to, uh, caring for other people's needs and, and taking care of their goals and dreams. And this is an opportunity to redirect that energy back to themselves. This is what I say yes. with my retreats as well. But yours is this retreat in Spain for this amazing, I want to come. <laughs> so <you> know, <laughs> I, I want to go. I really want to go. I'm watching it and I'm like, I'm going to put it on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm my own client. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I've watched you put these out before and they're called Cambio Retreats, correct? Yes, Cambio Retreats. So, yep. um, you, you know, you get to, your food is taken care of, you've got the beautiful, you've got accommodation in sunny Spain, you're with other people who are like-minded, but really it's the, the journey is all about you and mm. the processes that you're taking them through Well, on that transformation is um, a real uh, nutritious for the body, mind and soul isn't it? Yeah. Like, really, Mark takes care of the food and I've seen his pictures on, on Facebook. It's and amazing. <laughs> yeah. And it's not just healthy food. It's not just vegetarian healthy food because it's, it's vegetarian, virgin or vegan with a few exceptions, but it's not that because I'm the nutrition side of it. Mark's the chef. So what we've done is we've created the food to be as high energy as, as possible. We have a method of, of, testing the energetic vibration of the food Beautiful. so all food that's served as a high energetic vibration so we so it's not just you eat clean and you have a bit of a detox and so you can get your head straight it's not that it's more than that so all food is is all the recipes are designed to um help you with your brain function so your brain is gonna so i know we, we're thinking from the gut and from the heart but obviously our brain, we need to, there needs to be some kind of rational practicalities of, of 
this because we've all got to go forward into our lives when we get back. So the food is designed to, for maximum brain function, for we clear help to clear your gut so that you can actually hear the messages that are coming into your gut without being clogged down by all the rubbish and the chemicals and the sludge. So we help that to happen as well. And we help you to prepare you beforehand to give you a suggested diet before you get there so that you're not having headaches and stuff while you're there, but you have them before you come. So that's, we do energy work, like that's, that's myself, I do therapy, um, energy therapy, balancing work to clear your energy lines. So we make you as clear and open as possible mm -hmm. so that all of the stuff can come to the forefront. You, we should, we have trainers that come in with all their various modalities that they use and they will help you to bring your beliefs, all of them, to the surface. And you decide which are serving you, which are no longer serving you, which you can put on hold for the time being. And you just unpack that, if you like, get rid of what you don't need to, cl to clear the way. And then in the middle of the time you're there, we help you discover, we we've got, I've got this amazing, so much fun exercise that I take you through. It's like a game. But we all do it together. It's, it's, it, I won't tell the secret, but anyway, we help you find out what you really, really want. I name it like after the Spice Girls track. What do you really, really want? <laughs> anyway, and we really do. And at the end of it, you're like, oh, that's what I want. I thought I wanted that, but I actually want that. And then after that, we start helping you embed these new beliefs. But before you leave, you don't go anywhere until we've helped you achieve what you're aiming to achieve before you leave you have to have done i say have to lightly obviously you can go and sleep all day if you want but obviously the more you put in the more you're going to get out of it yeah. to take the first step so whether you need to make that phone call write that blurb for your book write um write the business plan uh you don't mean email that person just take the first step so that by the time you leave the you've already your, your goal is already ahead of you. So by the time you go forward back to your life, it's already running. You've probably had the answer from the email, the call, the whatever, and the reaction is already. So that's that's the reason why. And we also help you and support you afterwards as well with your food, your mindset and everything. Awesome. So, so we'll leave it activated. Now, here was the cool, that, that all sounds amazing. And here was the cool thing. When we did, when unpacked the 90 day goal plan for you, we, you said it was three weeks. I said, that's cool. Um, so that's in your first 30 day chunk because in week four, you're going to be delivering this amazing retreat. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, what if you create a six week program lifting up the essence of that mm -hmm. experience and you're providing a support system online in a group training experience over a six week period. And because a lot of people have that in the forefront of their mind for the new year, why not start promoting that now for that as a pre-launch and for those that want the fast track get started now and are excited to like get into the practical experience come and join you on the retreat and then on the retreat you had a special offer with your six-week program mm. i know that you're still deciding what you're finding out with from that yeah. but um that's pretty awesome right like i mean it creates an amazing um opportunity first and foremost for your clients because those that are coming on the retreat they have this real extended experience in a support environment just reiterating these new habits and experiences plus there's lots of people that would love to come but maybe can't come on uh in three weeks time i think one of the things that we said was like that most people might have two or four weeks annual leave a year and mm. um you know some people are like time-wise they can't budget it but then there's other people who still have time up their sleeve to use for the year this might be a really good experience for you to jump mm. on it and um to make the last quarter of of, of this year a real inter intentional focus on yourself so that instead of waiting to january the first to kick off a new year you're already in massive momentum right <laughs> exactly um yep. and you know hey if I was a little closer to Spain, I would be there on that retreat. <laughs> I run retreats. I, I love retreats. That's why uh, I, love, I love them. And uh, so um, how was that experience for you to go, oh, my goodness, this is so much more than, you know, looking at the retreat offer. Let's take it up here. As a result of supporting other people with more opportunities, you've got people who might come on the retreat or just on the six-week program or both. Mm. And as a result of helping more people, you also make more money and more resources, yeah. which you can yeah. use to keep extending and doing. So was that, you know, what was your experience of coming to that revelation through that, through that 
It was really great. I think something we'd spoke about, I think, on a previous, um, com in a previous conversation, I think, because I said to you earlier that I, I had that idea about the six week thing. I don't know where it came from, but I think it may have been triggered by something we'd talked about before. But all it had got as far was, was that it was more, because I'm running a full week, completely online, just the diet element, just the food element of this, which starts on Monday. Um, for people that just want to get a handle on generally feeling better. Yeah. And we do that with a little bit of mindset, a little bit of food. So it was kind of to bridge a, another bridge in a gap between a four week <laughs> online. Complete, like, I've realized all these words I'm saying. I don't even. Because I say dump the gap. I'm like. Do the gap, bridge the gap. I don't know. Quantum jump, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> between the full on retreat, because it is, it's, it is immersive. It's a full immersion. Um, it's transformative. Transformative. It is life changing. It's not, okay, no disrespect to any of the run of the mill retreats. That's not a very good thing to say, but the re retreats that are out there, out there already, there are thousands and they all serve a purpose. A people, some people need just some time away to do some yoga and stretch, be by themselves and eat some lovely food and chat to like-minded people. We are not that. <laughs> we are so not that. Yeah. We're not, any, anyway. Yeah, way deeper. We're not checking our Yonis out with a mirror. We're not sacred <laughs> dancing to, by moonlight. We're not, um, we're also not up at 6 a.m., you know, on the beach boot camp, and we're not a detox. We're transformative, like you said. But as also you said, not everybody is ready for that yeah. yet. Now, to, to take that step to do that, you've, there's got to be a certain element of you that really, really is ready to take action now. So that it's for those people that want to change their life, absolutely certain, committed, they're going to do it. Da, 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 da. So we needed something between that and this little four week, just generally feeling better. And the six week thing popped up, put it on paper, and left it there. So tonight or today, whenever it was, a few hours ago, we did this call. You came up with this suggestion. I was like, perfect. Um, and it is to take the elements of the the transformation, but to do it obviously by yourself and we do it online because some people are going to want to not go through another same old Christmas, you know, with the same old stuff and the same old stuff that we all do, loads of money, overeating, overstuffing and, and dealing with whatever we always deal with all Christmas or the opposite end of Christmas which some people are very very alone at Christmas I've been there many times and they just don't want it to be like they just need something different need a change so those are the fast people that want to do something about it but the online thing is different character of person someone who is more step by step more strategic less spontaneous maybe but also still wants change it's not just action takers that want change Exactly. It's sometimes it's and the people that want to take their time to do that. Exactly. So. Now the model that I shared with you is, is from experience. I'm not just teaching you theory because I've done this myself. Mm. I run retreats, I run online programs, I run masterminds. <laughs> Some people wonder how I do it all. Sometimes I wonder how I do it all. <laughs> 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 well, I love it. I love it. Transformation is my thing. But here's the thing. You know, it's a very similar client who is going to do it online with you as well. And I hope you, whoever's watching this, listening to this, you're getting a lot of golden value in this and some ideas on how to craft your offers and, and the opportunity to provide enormous value to your clients, but also to keep the pipeline of um, curiosity and, and um, uh, get the intention there. So there'll be people who will jump straight onto the retreat and then come onto the program. But then there'll be people who just buy the program, but now that then the program, they're like, oh, when's the next retreat? So you've already mm. got like, you pre-sell out your retreat from that program. Mm. That's exactly yeah. how I've done it. Um, and you know, if anyone here is loving the idea of doing a retreat, one of the things that I have a lot of clients um, come to me and they say, I want to do a retreat. And I'm like, fantastic. Tell me what programs are you already running online or offline? Um, what's your client base and how are you already providing a value, uh, uh, like a value ladder? How are you stepping them through the transformation? Because a lot of people are, uh, haven't got that done. I'm like, uh, back the truck up. <laughs> yeah. Because um, to run a retreat, it's possible, but it's a lot of work to get people Tell to cross over that line. And running retreats, 
they, they're not like, they're not my, prof if you're coming down to a profit model, it's not my preferred model at all. Right? Yeah. It's a lot of work mm -hmm. for a very little slim margin of money. Even if you're charging, you know, pretty big fees. Like I, I bundle um, a fairly big coaching package in with it to make it a very high ticket price to have an intimate experience with me and a small number of ladies. But some people do eight, 10, 12 people. That's still a small intimate group. But then like, if you've got, um, if you, if you're depending where you're playing in the field of price, you know, you know, by the time you've organized the event, you've organized potentially other people, taxes involved, sometimes double taxes, like I pay taxes on GST in Australia for my Australian clients, then I pay taxes in, in Bali, uh, where I've been running my retreat. So it's 21% tax over there, 10% mm. tax in Australia. And if you don't put that into the budget, you're going to get nicked in the bum when it comes to actually paying off that experience, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and that was one of my first things that I learned when I uh, ran my very first one. I was like, oh, damn didn't put the GST in, yikes, so that had to cost yeah. me out of my space. But the thing is when you bundle it in with um, a pre-training online experience, I'm all, me, my live retreat once a year, it's moving up to two or three times a year, is the only live event I currently do because everything is about being online and as automated and leveraged as possible so I can have the contact, which gives me the ability to provide an incredible opportunity for a much lower price than if I was running around speaking at events and providing all these things with all these hotel costs and everything else as well. And it's just not my chosen lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So if the idea of having um, a leveraged lifestyle, laptop lifestyle business, because I didn't just do blogging back yeah. in those days. That was one stream of income. Yes. <laughs> one of many. <laughs> Multiple streams is the way to go. But um, also the more leveraged you can be, like having the opportunity to reach as many people and being online means you don't have to be limited to just the local people or the national people. You get to serve a lot more people worldwide. I have clients in my Love Light Leadership Academy and, my, and the Awaken Woman program from, I think it's 13 different countries. Wow. Right? And that's really cool. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that and reach them if I was only making myself an offline presence. And if you're mm -hmm. making yourself an offline presence, plus by doing your retreat, Kathy and anyone else listening who wants to do retreats, make sure that you're providing some sort of opportunity where you're capturing your, uh, your strategies, your roadmap, your solutions to be able to provide for people, unpack that so that you can provide it in some format, whether it's a home study pack or a one to many group training, uh, it could be a one-to-many group training with a VIP upsell where you have one-on-ones included. Um, or if you're just launching and you're thinking, how do I really you know, make a no-brainer offer? Consider doing a group training with a special one-on-one -on -one with you and get those testimonials, get those results and, and get that momentum so that as you move forward, you can put a little less of the one-on-one -on -one component in and you're doing the one-to-many. Yeah. Like today, when I did the goal plan unpack with you all, you know, I had seven, eight people in the room live. There's 17 at the moment in the actual group, but the lot, and we do it twice a week. I do a different hot seat. But instead of spending one hour with just you, I had one, I, well, I ended up going a bit longer, but I had that time <laughs> with many. Yeah. Where instead of, if I did that seven times, there goes my week. Yeah. And, and that, and I, I can do that and I charge a lot for that <laughs> when people do the one-on-one -on -one training with me, but that's why I created a support system to be able to get you all uh, leveraged so I can do one to many. Here's the other thing. How cool is it when you, um, you watched a previous hot seat earlier this week, but others watched yeah. you, how much social proof and inspiration does that provide for all the others in the group? Oh, it's great. Oh, it's because, enormous. Yeah. There's so much that, people other people in the group they, they haven't necessarily voiced their their thing yet but you answer their questions before they're even asked so it saves time but it it helps knowing that i'm not alone somebody else going there through that too oh it's not just me then <laughs> you know kind of thing yeah it's great and i know that what we talked about today i did have a little one of my um unserving beliefs popped up while we were doing it was ah, this is all about me. I don't want all the attention on me. That came up. 
when we were talking and I was aware of the time of other people obviously that were sitting on the call as well and then I was like you know what just you wouldn't do it if it wasn't valid to other people and like attracts right and like attracts like as well and obviously we're all attracted the people I, I believe this the people that are on the call because obviously not everybody in the group of 17 can make it because of the time um, and it's different on each call so the people that were there are meant to be there to hear the message that's meant to be there like we're and talking in the about group, the they get the call replay anyway and they get the replay as well and i've watched the replays and i've been on the live calls and sometimes it's only the replay every time i watch the replay there's something that i may have missed uh, beforehand but i even if i've put it on gone out of the room come back in to make tea and i hear something i think we're all attracted to hear to to be and hear well you know what i'm trying to say the fact that one answering one question to one person is and is helping many people, many people. um yeah on the retreat without fail every single time in my entire life i've organized a live event on anything from a massage training workshop to anything even with last minute cancellations and people jumping on at the last minute i've had the correct mix of people even though beforehand i was like oh my god how are these people gonna because i know them all gonna get along you know and they've bonded and it's worked and i believe that and i believe that with your courses as well Thank all you. the work i've done with you it's you always seem to attract right is 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 you know a weird word to use but do you know what i mean we were all meant to be and hear the message whatever you're sharing exactly and you're you have that vibration with you as well as i'm sure many people listening to this and as long as they have then they definitely have um but imagine now with the such level of intention that we set the whole thing up for you today being in the tune of the mm. frequency of you and your client watch how that now elevates the uh, frequency and the vibration of the people on the next retreat for you. I really can't wait to hear you report that. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> now, the other thing too, let me um, take from what I was sharing about my experience with the group coaching and stuff and even the group calls. Let's flip it for you and those watching this call or listening to it is okay. imagine now your clients receiving mm -hmm. that gift of you and what mm. you provide and how it serves them all as a, as a collective level in a group coaching program, whether you choose to do it as a group coaching or a mastermind. Mastermind is just typically a little longer than it could be like four months, six months, 12 months or three months. It okay. could be whatever it is. It's just another word. It's up to you. Uh, it generally is a little bit more like in our mastermind. That's just like you, you guys get so much access to me, right? You ladies mm -hmm. get so much access to me. Whereas in the Awaken Woman program, it's, it's more of a home study pack with some access to me in the Facebook group, unless you're VIP and then you get one-on-one. -on -one. So it's a real, that one's a real emotional alignment, balance alignment, uh, connecting you to the highest frequency of yourself and clearing all past traumas and current traumas and all that sort of stuff. So that you have the practical and magical tools to design your life, live your dreams and have a whole new blueprint for you. Mm -hmm. Love Light Leadership Academy, more of, okay, we've got the blueprint. Let's now get into momentum. And so you get a lot more access. So imagine having that in your coaching program mm -hmm. where you get to have a lot of people doing that. You've received that value in my group. Now you go pay it forward and give it to your group and mm. what you're creating. And, and you're creating a massive, massive value because it creates social proof, which is, you know, internal and external validation to the others who are witnessing it. Some people like to sit on the sideline for a little bit before they creep in and feel the confidence yeah. ready to do it. Other people are straight in and everybody provides enormous value. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, I, I, I wanted to highlight the opportunity of, uh, you know, getting clear on, you know, creating your goal plan, particularly around a business, it's relevant for any, like we were talking about the, one of the previous hot seats this week was around a health goal. And yeah, I know yeah. that you said that was sort of easy. Now it's easy for you and the person that was even hot seated, but I still unpacked it more and have everyone going, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> but the thing is for a lot of people, that's not easy. And that's no. why you do these retreats. So when you are unpacking a strategy of success so that other people can go in and role model that, step into that roadmap, then they're going to also have and benefit from those results as well um, and make that available for them. So I just wanted to share the value of 
not just writing down your goal. A lot of people write down their goals. Actually, most people don't even write down their goals. That's <laughs> true. You know, right? <laughs> and even less people do a goal plan. <laughs> Um, and a lot of the uh, the pushback that I know that I've received over the years is um, specifically because uh, I work very uh, much in alignment with the, the spiritual entrepreneur, the miracle workers like yourself, um, the soul seeker, and, and just generally women who know they want more similar client mm. like yours, right? And mm. one of the key things is I'm scared if I write down my goals that I won't get them and then I'll feel disappointed. So I won't write it down. I'll just wish for it out in the ether. <laughs> yeah. uh, a couple of challenges with that. You get what you attract, not what you say. And your attraction is based on your vibrational frequency. The second thing too is, um, is a, a really wonderful study. Uh, just trying to recall it. I even put it in my little booklet the other day. A really wonderful study from... Um, yeah, it's actually published in the Forbes article, uh, but there's a wonderful study that has been done that demonstrates writing down your goals, it will increase the, pos the, the opportunity of you actually manifesting them. But then if you write them down and then you declare them to somebody else, it increases it even more. And if you write them down, declare them to someone else and you stay accountable, you have an accountability partner or group, whew, you've just jacked that up to like, pff, it's almost guaranteed. Right, which is why it's so important. And that's again creating that support system with what you're, what we've shifted it from, from just an eight day retreat. Let's also yeah. provide them a six week platform that, so they've done this. Oh, now we've got accountability because we're, we're being, we've got a lease to report in the next 90 days or 60 yeah. days, right? Yeah. Um, so that really helps with that transformation process. And if you're listening or watching to this, I hope you set yourself a goal plan. Write your goals down. Set down a goal plan. Tune into the frequency of you. Date it, yeah, and um, make sure that you are moving forward. And um, Kathy, if you know, one of the things I'm going to offer here, and it might, it's limited. So while I'm posting this out now, I'm going to um, provide an opportunity for those that might want to jump on. I'm going to provide five opportunities, five session times for people to book a uh, complimentary session with me. I normally charge 1500 US dollars to work with me for 60 to 90 minutes and I'll unpack everything. I'm not going to do a full unpack, but I've certainly uh, between a pre-call questionnaire and having some time with you, I will um, help you get more of alignment and the clarity around your goal and get you on path with unpacking it. So you can take your first next best step. Why am I doing that? Well, a lot of people go into this whole scarcity, like, but what? Well, there's a catch. And I'm like, well, the thing is, I believe in the law of reciprocity and also believe in the law of giving. And here's what I know is true, having done this for three years, no, three and a half years at this level now already. When I give you something that helps you succeed and then you go and succeed at that, you become a raving fan. Mm -hmm. And whether you choose to work with me or not, I'm not attached to it. I am invested in seeing you succeed. That's what I want. I want to raise the consciousness of the planet. But the most greater likeliness, the likeliness of you returning back to me at some point or another or referring people to me is through the roof when I help you get what you want. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> completely true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm, that's what I'm allocating. I respect my time as well. So I'm only allocating a few spots and it's going to be the first people in there. So if you see a link below and it's available, go grab one. Um, Kathy, you get up at some unreasonable hours at times to join us here in Spain. I'm in Perth and I know that, you know, we've got Finland and Germany. Um, but, you know, would you say even if it's 2 a.m., it's worth it? Grab it. I'll do it. Oh, God. Just do it. You can catch up with sleep later. Seriously, <laughs> you can catch up with sleep later. You know. That's awesome. No. Um, so, and what would you say to somebody who might be considering, yep, I would love to have one of those, other than the sleep, what would you say to them about yeah. doing a goal, a quick a, a mini version of an unpack with me? I think if what Katie's saying to you right now is making you feel something, something then do it don't rationalize it don't go into your head and, and try and figure out whether it's a good idea a bad idea and time wise and all this kind of stuff just 
take the opportunity, get in touch, and she'll speak to you and she'll tell you if it's not going to work, if it's not a fit, you're not a fit for each other anyway. So you've got nothing to lose. So I definitely say if you feel something, opportunities come by, you know, and um, we, we're so conditioned to to be practical and realistic and this and that generally. So just, just jump, just do it, just do it. Honestly, you've got nothing to lose, awesome. you know, you've got everything to gain. That's a cliche, but it's true. Awesome. My only condition I'm putting out there is do not book it. If you do not intend to work, no. don't show up. Um, no. I, my time is valuable. I rarely give these away as opportunities. This is a true gift looking you right in the face. So if you know that you are going to show up on that live call, then go ahead and book one. Otherwise, leave that spot open for someone who is seriously committed to bringing their dreams into reality now. Because those mm. are the people that I want to work with. Uh, I don't appreciate tire kickers because I value my time. I have very strong boundaries. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I misunderstood. This is for your, your gift yeah. calls on okay sorry yeah i'm sort of speaking to the listener the reader who is yeah um and uh as you know it's highly valuable it's gold you'll get what you oh, want definitely. more than what you expect when you show up and you know i also want to say that if this idea of um whether you want to go on the, ne the next retreat in spain on the cambio retreats with kathy um and mark and the team yes in three weeks time as of the recording uh and we're recording at the moment, uh, October of two thousand. When when's the retreat dates? At third till the tenth of November two thousand nineteen. Beautiful. That's for this year. But if you want to know more, whether it's this year or the next one, please reach out to Kathy. I'll make sure that I've got a link for Kathy um, that you can get in touch with her and and explore a bit more about the retreats, or even ask about what the opportunity for the online training is in the yeah. early year. So, uh, Kathy, I, I'm so excited for you. I'm really delighted with what you're offering to the world. The world needs you. The world needs all of us to rise up and shine our light and love on the world and share our gifts and be our own unique expression of love and light. And I thank you for being yours. And I thank you for honouring yourself and trusting me on the journey to help you really uh, expand your reach. I think that's the key, the trust. You know, you're helping me. I'm going to help the people on the retreat unlock and unravel their stuff. And then they're going to go on. It is, it's, it's, it's a flow. It's let's, we're just opening the flow. This is, it's amazing. It's why I do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I love light and manifesting. Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you. And thank you uh, to those listening and join us on the next podcast or video blog. So the links are in the description box down below, but if you want the next bit of details, there's some juicy behind the scenes coming your way now. Let me cut. I'm like, Ooh, you're saying good stuff here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> the, the training is one thing and the, having a hot seat situation on a live call and showing up even to answer a personal question on a live call for everybody on a group call is one thing, but you, what you've just done is <coughs> this is beyond, I, I would say the um, intention of the training, not the intention. Do you know what I mean? This is, this is moving into, you'd hire people to do that. I would have to hire a, a marketer to help me with that. I almost hired this copywriter. Um, I'm playing with it at the moment. Um, just to, so I can get out of my head and, and speak from a different point of view. But what, so you've gone way beyond what I would have expected um, for, from the, from the, the Love Life Leadership Academy, basically way beyond that. This is, it's incredible what you've just done. So this is, it's more than just a friend saying, Hey, my friend runs retreats, go on that. She's great. Or, you know, it, just the general stuff. Yeah, it's really, it's lovely. Thank you. I appreciate it more than I can even express. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. My pleasure. And um, you know what's cool? What? You've only been in the Love Light Leadership Academy not even a month. I've only been in it a week. I started a week late. <laughs> Remember, I've been in it a week and I've only just caught up with the first week and we're only on the second week now. Is it the second? Yeah. So, and there's no such thing as being in a week late for the Love Light. It's, it's any time. Yeah, good point. It's application only. Um, yes. But but um you just you, when you because we're running a 90 day goal plan like challenge um yeah you can come in at any point but you just get to come in on that one then there's a renewed one but so you've been in a week 
And yeah, you, I mean, it's exceeded the value of the program. That, like, bef- yeah, vacations in a week for a twelve-month mastermind. <laughs> but the the main shifts have actually happened in the last what three days, because I was catching up with uh, the, the live calls. Then I downloaded the ninety-day goal plan, and then I I started work on that ninety-day goal. I had. I explained to you before, I think I, well, actually I didn't, I had my tax returns. I was already late with them. I've already been told off and, uh, by my store and, uh, I was late with them. It was like, do I do that? Do I continue to post on LinkedIn and do all my other social media posting? Or do I do the 90 day goal plan, which I feel is going to accelerate all of that. So I put everything back a day and did that. And literally day and night, day and into that night I spent doing it I didn't complete it I didn't complete the daily tasks at the end but I did everything else and and then the next day I woke up energized looking forward to doing my tax returns which is a major breakthrough for me to do and feel that way about it because I've put it off for so long and and that I honestly put down to the only reason that I felt that way was because of doing literally filling out the 90 day goal plan Beginning. And when I started it that morning, it was like, oh, God, I've got to do this. I know I'm obviously here invested in my future, but at the same time, it's like, and this is how bizarre it was. I actually didn't understand some of the questions that you asked on there. I did, but there was so much rubbish in front. I couldn't, un- you know, when somebody has a breakthrough and then you go back and ask them about the the same thing before and they're like what are you talking about it's like that I didn't understand the questions and I didn't find it enjoyable to start with honestly but that was because where I was at the time but as I persevered and got through it and and it was I was like wow this is great and it became really really fun by the end of it so that's one day second day I did the tax returns and third day is today wow that's awesome hey and you also said that you saved yourself the annual yearly fine that you had been budgeting for because you always knew that your tax returns were late is that true yeah 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 for years for years it was it was it was i just took it for granted and um it was always way easier than what i ever i don't know if i had an issue with authority or what it was I just used to be afraid of the tax man and I wasn't doing anything wrong and I didn't even in those days didn't even have major earnings in those days it was just I just ah, I don't know I don't know what it is it was a block it was was yeah it was so you had real already this week you've got real financial savings as well from just oh my goodness yeah yeah (laughs) yeah I won't ask you how much that is on the on the call uh, in case we use this piece with your permission, but uh, that's yeah. pretty awesome. That's really yeah. awesome. That's really exciting. Um, it was more the the emotional because it actually has upset me to the point where I haven't been able to function because I've had I've caused myself to literally grind to a halt. You know that sound when you hear concrete wheels <laughs> kind of like screeching and grinding to a halt and being stuck. Yeah. That's how I've felt for years when it comes to things that I just tedious that have to be done i'm like i prefer creative i'm a master of ideas I, you give me a problem and i'll solve it because i'm always looking for another way when it comes to applying the the actual craft part skills part of it actually doing the work i'm like i'd rather just create businesses and let other people build uh, put them together and come up with ideas so that i that stuff i find tedious hence the fact i run retreats because i like this build up to an event and then I like to work like that, that regular monotonous type thing, like tax returns and nine to five and any kind of daily regular thing. I does your head in, you know, you know, I find really, really challenging. So it's the, yes, the financial benefit for the fact that I've saved myself a fine. Um, but the emotional and also for the fact I've done them correctly, I'm normally like, Oh, whatever, throw a bunch of figures down. I've had huge tax bills before. And I know it's because I've done it incorrectly. And if it had taken more time. So, but it's the emotional shift because that to me is gold and beyond that is worth <clears throat> so much, you know, you know, like I have, I have a different value on money. Like if someone said to me, I'll give you a million pound if you jump out of a plane, right? on one of those parachute things. I'd say, keep your money, thanks. 
<laughs> not bothered. Seriously, people have said, are you crazy? I was like, I wouldn't do it. I'm not that bothered about it to go over, to cross that fear. So it was the same with the tax thing. Yes, it saved me some money, but I budgeted in because I'd rather pay it than, than, than do it, which is weird. It's messed up, but it's weird. You know but what? that's gone. That's the thing. I'm sure. Yeah, no, it is gone. But you know what? A lot of people probably feel the same way and they're like, oh my God, I want that result. I want that result. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's worth, that's a limited value, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. Rockstar. Thanks for sharing that. I really appreciate okay. it. <laughs> are okay. you happy for me to put that extra little piece in at the back yeah end? go for it yeah you know it's what? fine no, that's pretty cool <laughs> uh really really cool i'm sure a lot of people would want to experience that for themselves <laughs> as in having the awareness and the shift too mm. so if you love today's content then make sure you hit the subscribe button and show your appreciation with the like button press that now and please share this with other people who you know will benefit from this too